Uh, Michael Steele, let me start with you. You led this party for many years. My question is, do you think that this is a joking matter, or do you believe that you might have some sympathy for Greg Gianforte, as one member suggested? Oh, I don't have any sympathy for what he did. Absolutely not. I think it's stupid and boneheaded. You know, put your big boy pants on. You want to come to Washington and play up here with these guys with a Washington press corps? Are you kidding me? And this is your reaction? It's, it's beyond crazy. You know, look, I'm, I'm a Republican from Maryland in Washington, D.C., so you live in that crucible with a hot press all the time. That's, that's how you forge your own strength to, to go out and do your job and to represent your people. If you can't even answer a question on the CBO, what are you going to do when it's really important questions like, you know, the, the, the essence of health care, taking, you know, people off of health care, putting people on health care? This is, this is not complicated stuff for any candidate. You keep a cool head. You're up in the polls going into Election Day. You take the question and you move on. But uh, is it complicated, Michael, for some of those Republicans? Because on one hand, criticizing him, on the other hand, saying, I hope people vote for him. Well, look, I mean, obviously, you, you want to send the Republican to Washington. I get the politics of that. Uh, he has the advantage of uh, having about uh, three quarters of that vote already been. Uh, a Republican, even if that Republican, as you said, can't stand up to the pressure and, in fact, here, may have assaulted. May, I, I, I hear the, your the, point. The citation is out there. May have assaulted someone who understood. asked him a question. I un understood. But here's the reality. Here's the reality. The votes, three quarters of that vote has already been cast. But I'm they not have, asking have, about the reality but, of it. I'm asking about whether or not, <laughs> I mean, I'm serious, Michael, whether or not you could in good conscience say to somebody, vote for this guy, whether or not he may oh, have attacked I couldn't, a reporter. I couldn't do, I could not do that. I, 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 I can't speak for any other Republican. I could not do that. I mean, if you're asking me, the answer is no. If you're asking some of the voice, voices that were heard on Capitol Hill, the answer is apparently yes. Yeah. So that's, that's, the, that's their reality. What I'm saying is probably from the perspective of some of those folks, they're looking at this and going, well, the vote's already been cast in, in, in large measure anyway by early ballot and, and, and mail vote. Um, so that, that outcome may already be fixed. The, the real question becomes, if he does win this, what is the response at that point to welcome in someone who pre approaches the press with this particular attitude? You know, hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.